75-1 uh, uh, would be the, the, the guilt uh, here in the video pen. Uh, her pedigree would be uh, Glory Days, uh, Bow Before Me. Um, you know, obviously Glory Days, uh, a board that, uh, uh, that uh, we've really been uh, happy with what we've seen, and uh, I think this is no exception. Uh, she's got that uh, uh, Glory Days stoutness and feature, comes with some extra rib and body, and uh, uh, not to be repetitive, but I think this is another guilt that uh, uh, you show her as a breeding guilt, show her as a market guilt. Uh, I think that's all dictated in, in terms of how you want to manage the feed bucket, uh, um, we really like what we've seen out of the, quite frankly, sows. I expect the same out of the Glory Day sows. Uh, uh, they've done a good job uh, in, in the crate, uh, those quite frankly. So we, we look for those uh, Glory Days to be equally as good. Uh, uh, but, again, a lot of versatility there in that uh, uh, belted gill. Yeah, she just hits me really solid. Uh, again, uh, three-dimensional, uh, good kind of a look. Uh, boxing her build, that is a, that is a very uh, stout, dense, good turn uh, of shoulder blade in her in her rib cage and in a good body shape there's an abundance of muscle in her top and again a, a thick stifled hog again uh, that uh, again get her on her own feeding program you're not going to do very much to have her where you need to be as far as shape for a market guilt uh, but yet she's got structure to go right along with her angle she's got and the way everything proportions good uh, that just kind of looks like a sow she looks like one that ought to be a good show guilt but i mean a really good kind of a sow that could have some production to her and kind of crank one another year because uh, Density of features really good. Uh, stoutness of skull, bone work, body, rib, everything kind of matches. That one is um, 78 dash, or I'm sorry, 75 dash one. 